The final step in the machine setup process is the dog bone calibration. Now this can only be performed after all the physical measure ups have been completed and we've successfully connected to the Bluetooth CAN adapter. For this process, we'll have to plumb the receiver bracket to the pivot point and also remove the receiver from the bracket and place it inside of the bucket. We can do this in either order, but it's very important that the stick remains plumb for the entire process. To mount the receiver inside of the bucket, we'll have to utilize a magnetic base provided inside of the kit. Here we can see an example of what this magnetic base will look like. When mounting the receiver inside of the bucket, it's important to ensure that the base plate faces to the right of the bucket as parallel to the cutting teeth as possible for the most accurate results. Once we have our receiver successfully placed inside of our attachment, the next step is to plumb our stick. We'll specifically be plumbing the bracket with our pin G or pivot point, and it's imperative that this is as plumb as possible, utilizing either a plumb bob or a framing laser. Once everything is plumb, ensure the attachment is fully uncurled out, and now press the start button. This entire process simply involves just curling the bucket toward the operator throughout the entire range of motion, ensuring that the IMU inside of the receiver is collecting ample sample shots. Now there's two types of errors you would expect to see here. Both look very similar, so it's important to pay attention to the contents of the error messages on the screen. The first error we see here states the angle rotation of the bucket did not meet the minimum requirement. The most likely cause here is that the bucket did not travel throughout the entire range of motion during the calibration process. The next error we would expect to see is the measured calibration does not contain enough measurements. And the most likely cause here is that the curl was performed too quickly during the calibration process and needs to be slowed down. Here's an example of a successful calibration. For reference, this is a CAT 308 and we took about 17 seconds to perform the entire calibration movement. Upon a successful calibration of the dog bone, we'll be brought back to the machine guidance settings page. Here we can see at the very top under machine, we are now connected to our machine. This machine calibration will now be stored on this data collector under a MCFG file and can be transferred to other data collectors and screens so you don't have to re-perform this calibration.